what I need You look just like a girl of my dreams And I've been thinking about making you wifey Cause you're just like me I know the name, uh, they know my body When she write a thing, man, she's moving in a mozzie And you know she run shoddy I call them 10-4 cause they all want copy I call them 10-4 cause they all want copy They know I'm litty so they all my body Back to back with the different flows Pick for pick, I got a different pose Cool, give that thing a clap. And we're live. Welcome to the Hot Water Podcast, the hottest podcast on Long Island. Shout out everybody that supports us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, if you ain't booking, you looking. Today we're joined with my boy right here, Kev from LI, Kev from Long Island. Yo, 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 what's good? Pleasure to be here, man. Yo, tell them what it is, Kev. What's your call? You know, um, I make music. I'm an artist. If you know me, you know me, man. So we just repping Long Island, just trying to do better things. You said you wanted to address your album real fast that you have, or oh yeah, EP? I have a yeah, I have a uh, tape that just came out, an EP, um, UFO. It's on all platforms, you know, an electrical album. So I just wanted to, you know, try something new. Those of you who know me, you know I can rap, but you know, on this tape, I wanted to show like kind of the range on new stuff that I was developing, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the tape? Uh, UFO. Okay. Why Why is it UFO? Um, unidentified feelings override. Uh-huh. So basically, like, it's an override of just different feelings that and emotions that you've been feeling lately. Like, whether, like, on um, one of my tapes is discussing, like, corruption. Like, if you see, like, what's going on with, like, the... the Wait, I mean, I mean, I say too much, <laughs> but like, you see what's going on there, you know what I mean, you know, so I just wanted to really like dive into that, so if you listen to that song and you look at the, um, I came out with like a couple animated videos and then some music videos that's going to be coming on the way before the end of June, but also too, there's a deluxe tape, which also has like another set of different ones, but um, right. yeah, the UFO was about that, then I have... um. I love almost, it. Hold, hold on. Almost like so. Like, is that also a play on like, like you? If you don't know what's like, what you're feeling, that like it overrides you sometimes. You know? Yeah, like anxiety, but just a different way of saying it though. Mm. So I just call it UFO because usually anxiety hits you out of nowhere. Mm. You know what I mean? And when you feel it, you feel it, but you can't explain it to nobody because nobody really understands your anxiety mm. or your feelings or the way you was feeling in that moment. Mm. Okay. So, sure. All right. Cool. And then tell us about the other songs that you have on there. Are they like all linked together in some way? Yeah, fake because you know a lot of a lot of them. You know, it's it's really like you hear I'm talking about a girl mm -hmm. in that sense. But on um, which which song did you have a particular question about? Well, the next one after it, uh, I can't see the whole thing because it's this picture right here. It says, "Don't leave, don't." I guess don't leave again. Oh yeah, don't leave, don't leave. So I came out with like a dance to that that song so I, like when the music video drops it's gonna make more sense mm. but that um that song it came with the animated video right. and it was like i wanted to make something like hallucinogenic for those you know who intake who go out and stuff like that because like i said again with ufo it hits you out of nowhere so sometimes you want to get lit you know what i mean sometimes you want to have a good time but also it's an electrical album but i also wanted to bring it back to like being something that if you don't listen to electrical, you can still listen to. So it's really like world music. Mm. But it just, like, you ever been driving around, uh, like, it's just like a, it's a, the way that it, like, it flows. It's like, it's a, it's harmony, and so it's melody too. But also, like, if you really, like, listen to what I'm saying, like, I'm telling you what's going on in mm -hmm. the song. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to say too much because I want them to, like, you know what I mean, to listen to it. But yeah, basically, that's what it, Basically, that's what it is. You said but something about intake. Does that mean like like taking like shrooms or like? Yeah, acid? yeah. Cause it's a hallucinogenic, so you know what I mean. If you into, if you like to listen, cause I know most of my friends, they you know what I mean, when they listen to music and stuff like that, they you know what I mean, they smoke or whatever they they you know what I mean. It's just the way that you listen to music and stuff like that. The way you do it mm -hmm. at your most comfortable state. I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna encourage nobody to take, you know? Yeah. But, you know what I mean? In that state, when you listen to music or you watch the video, if you watch the video, you'll know. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, 
I've ciphered a couple of people and you know what I mean? <laughs> we was watching the video and they were like, like, it makes you like tweak. It's a hallucinogenic video. But there's also a regular video that's coming out too. Mm. That I did, yeah. So it's like two sides, like sober and then like tripping? Nah, one, the, they both gonna be like trippy. Both of them are gonna be trippy, but one is like, I took a bunch of GIFs mm -hmm. and I'll use like CapCut and I like, Put it all together, yeah. so it's like a film. Like you sit there and watch it. Like it starts off with like the TV, and if you're watching it, the TV turns on, right, right. and then it just goes from there. And then it, then you end up in space, like UFO. You know what I mean, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also too, the um the album cover of my um my EP is a real picture of a UFO mm -hmm. over in California. A real picture. Yeah, of you UFO? didn't hear about the you didn't hear about the the cloud that was like over um. Over, and nobody knew where it was from, but it was just like sitting there. Nah. You never seen that? Nah, I don't think so. You, I promise you saw it. It Dang. just probably, you know, remember when like there was like a lot of UFOs that were coming, like coming out, like on social media? Did you see it? I heard about it. I yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, 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 all right. <laughs> okay, okay, my fault, my fault. But yeah, during that time, that was one of the pictures that came out. So I felt like that was like, the picture that I needed to use because uh -huh. it's just UFO. Like, when you see it, you just can't explain Like, you didn't even know. You didn't see it, but, like, yeah. I'm trying to explain it to you. Like, y'all, like, it's real, it's real. But it's like, you don't know. So it's like, that's also, too, what I wanted to bring. And also, too, there's a second half, a deluxe, that's coming out on the 26th. So that is, like, a different side, but that's more hip-hop. Right. So that's more, like, songs you can hear in a party. This one was kind of, like, a nighttime, night vibe, like, riding around in your car. That was like that. Mm -hmm. It was just a quick five. Mm -hmm. So I guess with that being said, with the UFOs and stuff like that, you believe in aliens too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. I feel like, you know what I mean? Yeah, we can't be the only ones here. And I, I feel like I also... I that too, yeah. yeah. I feel like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, um... Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. My fault, bro. He's out here smack, but fucking... Yeah, I don't know. We can't. We can't. There, there's just unless we're the only thing, like which is, sounds crazy. Like we can't be the only thing, right? Like there's got to be. Nah, respectfully, species. respectfully, respectfully. They gotta be. Plus, like, I, I've been seeing like the different thing. You can't trust everything that you see because you know this is all a media game, and that's what's gonna catch the people's attention. We, you know, the money and stuff like that. But like, some of these videos are from people's phones, so it's like, how do you explain? I, I mean. They could be running a, a big time show, but even that alone is a UFO on its own. Cause who expects that? Mm -hmm. You see know what I'm saying? That they're really creating like fake UFOs to distract us and da da da, and then try to make it seem like we're covering stuff up to make us like you know what I mean? Imagine like a loophole like that, like where it was that deep. You're I just saying that it's I, like something they're doing or they're not doing. No, nah, they're not doing. It just seems like like that would be too much. You know what I mean? So like I can't ignore certain things that. You know, some things I see and I just, I toss it, but, like, certain things, like UFOs and stuff like that, that happens, you can't ignore that, like, a bunch of school shootings, for example. There's been mass school shootings. Right. You know what I mean? If they was hiring people to go shoot up schools, like, you feel me? That could be a true thing, but it's like, you know what I mean? It's one of those, like... I could already tell, bro. You You're feel me? You're a conspiracy type of guy. Come on, man. man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. All right, so I guess let's transition but to... But that's, that's you know what I mean, the point of the that album. The I mean, album? the EP. The EP. Okay. I got out. A little mixtape I got out. Okay, I hear you. So that was, that was basically the question I was going to ask you. Like, how could we sum this up? Like, what could they expect from... From this little for this whole month, you can just expect like a whole bunch of like electric, like sounding music. I'm saying for that particular EP. You for got, that EP, yeah. like I would say, it was just it's just trippy type of conspiracy vibes. I mean, the first song is a is if you listen to the words, I'm talking about like corruption. Uh -huh. Um, the second one was don't lean, don't lean. I'm talking about like a girl mm -hmm. that like you know what I mean you with her and like. The way she makes you feel, whether it's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Because you ever, like, I don't know if you've ever been in love, but you ever, like, got your heart broken? Hell yeah. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the so the cold. way, exactly, <laughs> the way she makes you feel, because I'm sure it was some times where she made you feel mad good. But then there's another time where she made you feel like, yo, I, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So, like, that's that was where I was going with that. 
And if you watch the video, it starts off like you watching TV. So it starts off you watching her, like you, you know what I mean. You're observing this girl, you're riding around with her, right. and stuff like that. And then it just goes from there. And then whether you're like you know what I mean, you you know what I mean, y'all having intimacy and stuff like that, those intimate moments and stuff like that, where you really like, damn, I love this girl. And then something happens, and it takes you, like you know what I mean, it changes the whole world or the dynamic of the relationship. Like a lot of people have kids. Mm-hmm. A lot of times after that, that's when it falls apart. You feel me? But, like, you know what I mean? In that extent. So, like, in the video, then you end up in space. It's like, what are you doing in space? And then now there's aliens and shit like that. You feel me? And that could be, like, in people's relationship when people start cheating, going outside the relationship for advice, like, a whole bunch of stuff. But the whole time, you just love this girl. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So it's just, like, an unidentified feeling, like, Oh, that overrides like something you can't explain to somebody because you could tell your friend and they're like just do this but they don't know like same time I'm not trying to let shorty go she's fine like you know what I mean I love her like I'm not trying to let her go bro like I done went through mad shit with her I didn't tell you about it because it's some shit I ain't gonna tell anybody you know what I mean but she knows you know what I'm saying with the family then you you know what I mean you meet the family yeah all that so um the next one on that I think is sliding um I got that from Damn. Shout out to him. I forgot. I forgot. What's his name? He's mad famous. Damn, I'm a little crazy now. He's <laughs> mad famous. Um, You said I'm a little crazy now. Fuck. Damn. Anyways, I got it from him. If you, like, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. So I, I, I got I got it Um, from listening, like, to listen to how he raps, like, how he makes his songs. And I wanted to mirror that sound. So I basically just had that in my mind while I wrote what I wrote out for that for that song. Right. And then I think the next one is Love With You. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the same thing I was talking about. Like, it's back it's that, to that girl. It's back to that girl, but it's different now because now, like, you getting money. Like, now it's, now it's time we going up. Like, you feel me? Because I've been doing a lot of shows and shit like that. So I, I got that feeling like I'm getting, I'm going up. Same time, it's like, she she had a chance, to, for me, she's had a chance to be on this ride with me. Mm-hmm. But she's not. So that's another feeling that, and when I tell, and if I tell my mans or I tell somebody else, it's kind of like, all right, fuck her. You just keep doing your thing. You're doing your thing. But to you, it's like, a un, it's an unidentified feeling because it's like, damn, like, it's still in your mind. Like, there's a lot of people you pass through life as you go up, and it's like, damn, that's like, damn, like, you know what I mean? You ain't wrong. So, so that's what that song's about. Mm-hmm. And I think the last one is... I love it here. Love it here. Like, I love where I'm at in life. I love how I am right now. I want to be by myself and stuff like that. But I'm also talking my shit on that one. That one I'm rapping. Okay. So that one's like, that one's definitely rap. Like, 100%. And then what I did was I kind of just put, like, my own voice out like, as because the, the whole time most of the songs I'm using like an electrical kind of sounding like preset kind of right. so I'm sounding like a like you know what I mean but really it's bars like I could t- I could take those words out and then rap them and it would be straight bars mm-hmm. but it's just the way I'm flowing and I'm melodizing what I'm what I'm creating essentially but yeah that's what I'm talking about shit so I guess now that we covered a lot of that where are you originally from? I'm from Long Island, but I'm from Central Iceland. Okay, so CI. I'm from CI, yeah. For for the island people. For the island He's from people. From CI. CI. <laughs> so you grew up out there in CI. Yeah, heavy. I um, sports like that's probably what like you know what I mean. Anybody from Long Island that has seen me be like, it's probably sports or like after school programs or just you know what I mean. Maybe you see me like, yeah, probably that sports. Or, Sports, sports probably yeah sports school what type of sports i played basketball and football so i used to play on all the aau teams mm-hmm. the lightning the heat uh fucking i never went on the gauchos though them niggas is nice mm-hmm. but i never <laughs> pal i did pal since like six six years old so like we was playing everybody and shit like that so if you remember like i was born in 2000 so you do the math if we was in your era we, in pal we was spanky out in football that's anybody <laughs> we was spanking them like we was undefeated yeah we had mad trophies i just, i got most of my trophies from that mm-hmm. from pal yeah spanking people <laughs> spanking people but yeah let's see how. okay cool 
So when did music become the route for you? Was that something that was always something you were planning on? Nah, it's definitely a new thing. I feel like at this point, I feel like I'm in my um, I'm I'm in my first. I'm starting the second quarter. You feel me? Because at first I would make music, right? But I was so like scared, like to show anybody type shit. Mm-hmm. I would just like, and I didn't have a studio, so what I would do is I would screen record on YouTube, right? And I would just freestyle for hours and hours and hours. So I had like hours of like just random freestyles that did not sound good, and I would send them to my um my friends and shit like that. But I started in like college, you know, you siphon and you siphon with a bunch of people, with somebody like throwing a beat, you know what I mean? Kind of started like that. Why? Why did you? Why did you start showing people your music if you were like you didn't want people to hear it? Cause know? they was all, they was all in music, so they was all like kind of they just made their first song, posted it. Like I didn't have that confidence, cause I was like, you know what I mean? If I want to come out as saying that I do something, I want to like be, be nice. Like, like I want to be know. yeah, I want to be nice type shit. So or at least where like I know this shit ain't trash. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. You can always work on things, but like, you know what I mean, essentially. So um, then what I started doing was I uh, bought, you know, the setup and stuff like that after a while. Mm -hmm. And then I was just on that for a while on GarageBand and Logic. Mm -hmm. And then going to studios a couple times. Then I made a couple songs with a couple people and just went from there. Mm -hmm. But I just dropped a song this year, though. Mm -hmm. But I I done did shows. I done... um, yeah, I did just shows. That's about it. And then, and I did a music video I think last year too, but I ne- I haven't put it out yet. I wanted to put that out this month too. Well, I haven't put it out because it was like we recorded it, the music video. It was fire too. Like what, you Lambos said, like, in it, everything. Friends? Yeah. Um, I went to shout out to them. I went uh to Florida. I was um with my boy uh Drippy Drippy K three, uh Skiza, um. And my my boy Jordan Rich Rich Legacy and my boy Leek, but um, which one call it? So we made a bunch of songs. I made a bunch of songs with them. So I'm past that. We made a bunch of songs. The first time I went out there, the second time I went out there, me Jordan and um, well me Rich and and Leek, we um we shot a music video. It was like, and it was like um, white where all the rich people live type shit. So we had mad like, we had a Rolls Royce in there. We had a Lamborghini in there. We got like mad cars in there, but people was just showing love. They wanted to be in the video. We had the camera, <laughs> so he was going crazy. He was going crazy for a little bit. Rich uh, people, they were showing love. That's hell yeah! Because all you gotta do is tell people like, "Yo, can can you can you hop in this video for ten seconds?" <laughs> they was revving their engines, starting their car. I'm like, oh shit! It was like a movie. A One guy, video. we caught him. He was by the, he was by his um his Rolls Royce. We like, yo, we can use this for five minutes. He was like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." Oh, <laughs> like, right. Yeah, bro. Like that for a couple seconds. Cause he looked at us. He looked at me. He was like, "He looked at us," but we didn't look like a threat, though. I mean, we look like a threat probably because we black. But like, we didn't look like a threat, though. Like, you know what I mean? We didn't look like the we we. I had the cam. I had the camera. Right. The car. We had it parked a certain because nighttime. Right. The lights were like facing the like facing the car type shit. So we got like no light type shit. And we were just kind of like, we were so eager. We was like, yo, 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 cause we we caught him by the um right by his his um his Rolls Royce. Mm-hmm. So like, I know it's nighttime, but this is like a rich, rich area. Oh, you ran up on him at nighttime, bro? You crazy? Nah, yeah, bro. <laughs> it was nighttime, but it was like the neighborhood was so rich, bro. It was like they had we would be shit. we would be insane to be running down on him right there. Really? Like it's he bad. was super safe. <laughs> Matter of fact, when we pulled up on him. The cops came, and in the video, you're going to see the cops came. A like lady seconds cop. Seconds later. Yeah, a lady cop. She was fired, too. This is the only reason. I can say this now. <laughs> this is the only reason why I feel like we got away with it. She was super fired. She was super fired. And I was telling her the whole time. I'm like, yo, you are, you, yo, she is fired. I was telling her. I'm not going to lie. I had to tell her. But um, the cops pulled up, and they were like, are y'all allowed to be near the car, near the, um, near the Rolls Royce? Y'all got to leave. Uh-huh. Like, leave the area. She didn't, like, uh, you can't. She was like, she was trying to be nice. She was trying to tell us, like, you lucky it's me. Like, you might get arrested. Like, you can't even be, like, over here if you don't live over here. So we was like, we're shooting a music video. You want to be in it? <laughs> like, we was just, I don't know. I was just bullshitting her. She just, she happened to be from New York, too. Mm-hmm. She was, yeah. 
Alright, but um yeah, so basically we shot that music video there and um yeah, we just we just have all the footage. But I haven't put it out because it's like to put it all together, I want it to be fire because I it's not something I would wanna just like, you know what I mean, throw out there. Oh, you haven't put it all together yet? Nah, I got somebody that's working on it though. So it should be out this month too. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about you though? How'd you how'd you get you know what I mean, how'd you get into this? Into into music, into mm-hmm. the studio life. It uh like I was telling you off camera, bro, it's it, it wasn't the first thing, but it was definitely a passion of mine, you know. So music was there for me always, you know. Like ever since I could remember, you know, happy, sad, angry, whatever whatever the case is, bro, you know. Mm-hmm. I've said this a bunch of times before, so but you know, music is just one thing that was just always there and and that through it always being there with me it just was something that made me comfortable you know so yeah going through hard times right music's still there for me you know i was listening to uh i know a lot of people don't fuck with this guy but tory lanes i was listening yeah, to so um, super nice Super he nice. had this, I forgot what the album was called, but he had a bunch of old school sounding songs on it. Mm-hmm. That shit is fire, right? Right. So that I'm, shit was fire. You heard the other one though too? Which one? The one where he he made like a a synth, like he made an 80s tape. You didn't hear that shit? That was the one I'm talking about. No, no, no. He, are you talking about wait? Yeah, are you talking about the one where he like he remixed like T Pain song with uh, all the, I don't know with all the bangers? No, not that one. I don't one? know about that. Oh, you're there talking about the one, other one? There was one that I think it had like fucking Enchanted Waterfalls, one of the song names or something like that, some wild shit. But it was like you're talking about the, yeah. It was like freestyle type of music almost. You know, you know, like old school freestyle type of music. I think I know what you're talking about. It wasn't like rapping, like it was like yeah, 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 yeah. Singing, that, like sent, type yeah, music. yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about, bro. So fucking, yeah. bro. That's why I said that tape was fire. It was just giving me goosebumps, bro. It's like four in the morning. I'm sitting outside of my car, bro. You know, and I'm like, wow, like music is just hitting so hard for me, you know. And that's that's really what put me in this position. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I wanted to kind of like. I'm not gonna lie, he's one of the artists that like inspired me, no cap. Cause he he does different shit. Mm-hmm. Like I can rap. Like I've been rapping for mad long. Like I'm I'm gonna tell you I can rap. Right? Like just right. rap at any point in time. But it got. I f- I'm not gonna lie. I feel like also too. I, I hate to say this. Out loud. I probably shouldn't say this out loud. But I feel like <laughs> according to what like you know I mean what people listen to outside of you know what I mean certain areas. Like I'm not gonna lie. The South got a South sound and stuff like that. But like the original like. New York sound, I feel like, is not, like, the number one sound right now. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So with it not being the number one sound right now, it's, like, a lot harder. I feel like most people that's on, that do the regular rap, they have been doing the regular rap. So for me to come out now and do the regular rap, it's, like, I feel like people wasn't going to be, like, as receptive to it. But I have it, Mm -hmm. and I still do it, but I have to do it a different way. So, like, with this tape in particular, I wanted to... Do something else like electrical tape. Like most people don't do an electrical tape, but I just like I get in certain modes when I'm making music. You know what I mean? Where or I'm going through some something like at a certain point, and I just whatever beats I like that I hear around, mm-hmm. I just grab those type of beats and I like just pour on there. Whatever you know what I mean, and whatever comes out comes out. Type shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Type shit. So what have you been up to as of recently? Because if you. The last time I spoke to you, you came, shout out, um, Bankroll Shorty, uh, J100 Grand. He's, that's the same Facts. person, you know shout what out I'm to, saying? Shout out to bro. Shout, shout out, to, out bro. to bro. Shout out to bro. Because that's how I met you. You pulled up early for the, the music video okay. that I was hosting for him. And um, okay. you were telling me that you have a podcast, too, and you're also doing some other stuff. T- tell us oh, more yeah. about what you got going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I have a podcast, not even going to lie, though. I started it off during COVID, but I'm not going to lie. I haven't been on it, respectfully. I've been neglecting myself. I ain't going to lie. But it's a little hard because it's like I'm doing everything. It's like whether like the editing and everything all together and along with being an artist, right. it's kind of hard. And at the time, like being an artist for the last, I'm not going to lie, for the last six months has been, I ain't going to lie, has been fire. Like my started um, December, did my first show. 
Then I did the um, South by Southwest Festival shows. So you see what I'm saying? It's, I'm not going to lie. It's been a lot of blessings. Also, too, I just, um, I just, I can say this now. I flew out to Cali. I, um, I did a movie. Mm-hmm. What's your movie? Call? Yeah, I did a movie. It's going to be coming out. I can't leak can't too. The yeah, but it's going to be, it's going to be a big movie. It's actually going to be um, on all the platforms. Probably hit Netflix eventually if it, you know what I mean? If it lost. But it should definitely be in the movie theaters. So it's definitely going to be one of those. You can go in there. You see what I'm saying? Nah, you got to say that, though. That's the truth. That's the truth of the matter. That's crazy. <laughs> how, how did you line that up? Tell us about that. That's a good one. How did you line an opportunity like that up for yourself? What happened? I wish I'm going to call it. I was, um, I'm not going to lie. First. Huh? Because you had to meet a bunch of people to meet that. Nah, guy. nah, nah. I'm not going to lie. Nah, I'm not going to lie. It's not even how it happened. It, actually, to be honest, since I was like six years old, I always wanted to be an actor. That was like the first thing that ever came out of my mouth. I was like, Mom, you know, I want to be a, I want to. Besides superhero and all that, I kind of was more realistic. Like, I knew I was a superhero, you know. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, as a right. kid, you try a different thing, you know you're not a superhero. So I just, you know what I mean? I, I just always knew I wanted to be an actor. But like in high school and shit like that, my school was actually pretty known for like our, our music department in general and stuff like that. Like we do plays and stuff every year. They still do plays now. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying they're kind of known for just being successful in that aspect. But I never got put on. So you see how that goes. Okay. So I'm so saying like I would always, you. I was always going over there. Like I, I, I went to every play, one, and two. I would always go to the wing and be like, yo, when there's auditions, can you let me know? It's so audition. Can you let me know? And every year, for some reason, because um our loudspeakers and shit didn't work like that in the school. Like, you could not hear them at the end of the day at all. So it's like you're not getting those messages. So if you're not in the music ring, you're not really gonna like you. Know what I'm saying know what's going on. So I would always miss the auditions, and then I would hear, oh, there's a play next week, or there's a play next month on June. Like, so I would get tight. Like every year I missed it. So a lot of those guys, some of them. Um, they are in movies now. They're doing different things now. Some of them aren't. Most of them aren't. You see what I'm saying? So. So you went to school with kids that ended up doing acting. Yeah. More full time. Mhm. And then they Facts. you kind of linked them. Yeah, but they didn't. No, they didn't help me. No. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. So they don't know, but they didn't help me. Get to that. Point? Um. To figure I was out. just. I went to Cali because my 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 shout out to my boy. Paper Chasing Rap on Instagram, which I'm going to call it. My boy O'Day. I went to school with him in New York. He was also one of the people I started making music around right. type shit. So he he moved to Cali. He's from Florida, but he moved to Cali type shit. Well, actually, he's he's from he's from a different country. But, you know what I mean? he moved, He's from Florida, to, as far as I know him. And then now he's in Cali. So one day I went over there and... When I was over there, I was just rapping for mad different people. Like, I would just walk up to people and, like, ask them what they do and stuff like that. And they would tell me what they do and stuff like that. I would tell them I rap, and then I would just rap. That's what I was doing over there. So I met, like, a few people over there through that. And then I just, one one day I went up to a girl. She was, um, what did she do? I think she was, like, a, a news reporter or some shit like that. But she knew somebody else that makes movies. Mm-hmm. So then they told me, oh, go on this app. Backstage, so I've been on backstage heavy, and stuff like that. App called backstage. Backstage, that's right. a, that's a way to um they have a it's like Indeed but for um acting. You see what I'm saying? So if y'all ever want to be an actor, go on backstage, and basically you just create a profile. So at that point in time, I was also doing modeling a little sooner. Shout out to Michaela, shout out to VBM. In order, because Michaela put me on the PBM, and that's how I kind of started with the first model and shit. So I just took some of those pictures, right. but then now I stopped doing that. So now I needed my own pictures. So, um, what you call? Shout out to Danae Visions. She, uh, what you call? Shot all my pictures at the time. So she would shoot like a lot of pictures and stuff for me. I would do little auditions. She would record it for me, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And I would just submit them. So I would just be on there fiending every day. It costs per month, but, like, I don't care. I was fiending every day. I was just getting them. I was getting auditions, but a lot of them were in Cali. So, like, I didn't, like, I was working. So I was also trying to save up money and stuff like that. So I couldn't really go. So this one, I actually caught three, four years ago. And um, what should we call it? But the guy, he was like, he was like, oh, we got somebody else for the, for the role. 
I'm like, damn, so it hit. Like, mm-hmm. punch. Like, so back then, I, I low key stopped. Like, I stopped going on backstage because I kept, you know what I mean? Stuff kept coming up. Like, there was one movie I was supposed to be in, which I'm call I got paid. I got there. They already hired somebody to do it. But so the guy paid me for that day. Like, there was, like, different ones that, like, came up and was just, like, so I was getting smacked a lot, so I'm not going to lie. I chilled off the backstage for a little bit. Plus, I was, like, you know, going through different things, like, during, it was also mid-COVID, too. Like, mm-hmm. all this was happened during COVID. So, like, also during that time, I almost died a few times mm-hmm. type shit. I had COVID, almost died. I was in the hospital. So, shit, like, mad stuff was happening. But, like you were saying earlier with the music, like, that's what really, like, brought me through all that. Because I ended up with um, anxiety. Let me get some water. It's all okay. good. But, um... My fault. Nah, it was, <laughs> I had to cut in a little bit. But, good, yeah, like, um, I almost died at that point. So, like, that was, like, a kind of, like, a what gave me, yeah, it gave me, like, first of all, it, like, fucked me up to the point. I'm not going to lie. I think I probably went crazy a little bit during that time frame. I ain't going to lie. Because, like, some of the stuff I was doing, I, like, you feel me? What do you mean you went crazy? Like, I you think I went crazy. Like dumb decisions? Not only that, I was just really, like, on guard, too, because of all different stuff that was happening during that time. Like mm-hmm. I said, it was, like, multiple times where I almost... So you might have been a little paranoid? Yeah, I was definitely looking over my shoulder mm-hmm. a lot. You know what I mean? Not even, like, somebody coming to get, like, on some just that, just in general. Like, and also, too, it was, like, mid-COVID, so also knowing when you're going out socially, like, the anxiety that comes from that, too. Mm-hmm. That's also why I started the podcast, too. Mm-hmm. But, um... Wouldn't you think that would make you, like, not want to be on a podcast with other people? Because, what? <laughs> were, were you, like, do, how was your podcast structured? Because yeah. some podcasts, it's, like, fucking, it's just you and your boy, and you're always just talking shit to each other. Or it's, Bro. like, you know, like, for us, like, we always have different people on, you know? Yeah, um, I just got to the point, it was, like, because at first, like, when you almost die a couple times, you go through that page of, like, where you're, like, scared to die now because, like, you come so close to it, mm-hmm. you're now you're thinking about it. Like, now you're really, like, everything you do, you're questioning, like, yo, should I do this? Is a bad move? Is a good move? Stuff like that. Everything I was eating at a certain point, I was questioning, like, damn, like, then I started researching food, got into, like, but that's a different, I'm going to just stay, I'm going to stay right here. But, um, in there. Yeah, because I don't, I don't eat certain things, too. Like, uh, I don't eat, um, yeah. But you were getting into a different mindset. Yeah, so I feel like, oh, yeah, at that point in time, too, then you hit the, the state where it's, like, now you understand, like, you can die, but you're not dying today. Mm-hmm. So, you see what I'm saying? Then you go through the angry, like, you feel me, that point where you're just, like, you feel me, like. Mad that you're not dying? Nah, not mad that you're not dying, but mad just in general, though. Because, like, you come, all right, so, like, let's say. You get hit by a car, right? At a certain point, some people, they're not going to drive a car ever again. Then you get to the point where you get in the car. So I'm saying now you're driving, you're scared. Okay. Now you, people start cutting you off. Yeah, all right. We're back, fucking my bad, everybody. It's all that was good, yeah. A little technical difficulty, but we're, we're good, here. Yeah. So we was talking about the acting. People were cutting you off. You had these bad experiences. You were questioning life. You know everything was starting to change for you. Starting to see shit different. Yeah. So um, at that point, you know what I mean. You go through those phases of you know what I mean death essentially, or coming close to death essentially. And then um, also right. too, I had like a lot of friends that died. I like four, four, four or five so now. Type shit. So it's like you know what I mean. There's that part too. That's like a different part. But, um, yeah, so it ended up, you know what I mean? I say with everything, like, what's meant for you is meant for you type shit because it was, like, one of those situations because, like I said, the guy told me before that he found somebody for the role. But now this time around, it's like, you know what I mean? It came through. Mm -hmm. So shout-out to Mr. Homicide, man. Same guy who told you no the first time, doubled back around and was like, oh, my God. Yeah, that's God. Yeah, because he was, um, because he didn't, I guess he, they didn't put out the movie. Obviously, they didn't put out the movie yet. Mm-hmm. So essentially, like, you know what I mean? I think he changed he changed the script up a little bit. You know, you could do that, too. You, it's always that part, too, where they change the script or something like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not exactly sure what, you oh, know so what I mean? they worked you into that same thing they told you you couldn't be a part yeah, of? Yeah, but they, it was a different scene. A different scene, okay. So you weren't yeah. playing the original character. Nah, I wasn't. I actually was wanted to post, you know what I mean, some, like, flicks and stuff that I got from it. Uh-huh. 
Um, I was waiting for my EP to come out. Right. But then it's also too. It's like it's hard though because it's like I'm not gonna lie. Like, like I'm acting, but like I'm the biggest like I'm the biggest crip in the world <laughs> on that shit. Like in that movie, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the biggest what? The biggest crip. Like I'm. Oh okay. Like I, I got the flag. You, you know what I mean? You yeah, gotta I gotta play that role. So it's like you know that part too. It's like, I'm like. Yeah, I want to put it, like, so you know, because I don't want to, like, I make music, too, so I don't, you know what I mean? There's, like, a fine line, and I don't want to necessarily cross it. Mm-hmm. I just don't, you know what I mean? So I wanted to make it clear, like, so I've been waiting for, like, a preview and stuff like that, so you could see, like, oh, it's a movie type shit, but then, I don't know, I just didn't post it yet, but, um, yeah, I did that probably, like, a month and a half ago now. Mm-hmm. I think it was April. So I finally got, like, the first one done, but I also did my own movie, um last year it was um basically like a movie about like that took you back to the times when um damn i don't want to get canceled black panther was like the black panthers essentially and stuff like that how could you get canceled for that nah 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 i was i was gonna say something else Uh (laughs) i'm not gonna say all that but basically if you look on there like when I, i was rapping i made that song i made that song probably like two years ago mm-hmm. like when i first started but basically when i would when i would write before when i would write i would really write so i would i put like a whole bunch of like like the the real original owners of vix mm-hmm. it was you see what i'm saying essentially black people it was like i just went through like but i was rapping but then i put like a complication video a compilation video yeah, together with whatever, how, yeah, how however fuck you say it, with a bunch of gifs and stuff like that from that point in time and put it together. So that was like my first way of doing that, kind of along with footage and stuff from a photo shoot that I did. Shout out to Janae Visions because mm-hmm. she shot that for me. And yeah, so I have a short film. That's my little short film. And I also have another one that I want to drop before the end of the year. That one's like a summertime thing. It's like I'm on a beach and essentially the it's a scary movie. The um basically the sand starts i don't want to i don't want to leak my shit out yet but um basically the the sand starts influencing the relationship wow these two this couple is sitting on the beach and the days are flying by and they're not like they're not noticing mm-hmm. essentially it's another trippy video but that one's stuff like that that's cool i've seen like fucking i forgot what that movie's called um they're on an island or whatever. It's a bunch of them, and they're just going crazy on this island. Yeah, because yeah, because of how, I guess because of the island or whatever the hell. Yeah, was. they weren't. There was one like they weren't aging. I don't know if you saw that one. Like they were. No, they were aging, but they were aging in one day. Oh yeah, mad they, fast. Yeah, mad fast. Yeah, yeah. Like the girl was pregnant, and then an hour later, down the beach, she's giving birth. Like that's wild. Yeah, I think I think that's the one I seen. I don't know. So it was. So it's rapping. And then acting for you, or it's acting and rapping. It's acting first for sure. Acting um, first. I think music music is just like my like outlet. Like I um I skipped over. I think I I meant to. I don't know if I skipped over, but when I had at a certain point when I was rapping, mm-hmm. I made like a on notes. You know how in notes you can share a note with somebody. Mm-hmm. So I had like eighteen people listening to my notes, and they were telling me, "Yo, this is fire!" Like you know, I just sent it out. Like, what do you think of this? And it it, uh, it was coming back anyway. So then there was people that was listening to that anyways for a while, like over a year. I was supposed to drop last summer, but I just never did because I wanted to shoot a music video first. So you so, went from hiding your music to, to people telling you it's fire. And... Yeah, I went from hiding. Basically, I went, I've been hiding my shit this whole time, fake, low key, because nobody in CI knows that, knows me for making music. Uh-huh. Like I'm known for like just being Kevin. That's why I didn't want to change my name. So, but um. Yeah, I've been making music for a while, so yeah, it just uh, oh yeah, with the note, my fault. I got <laughs> I got lost, yeah, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, with the notes, people were like listening to the notes. So they're like, "Yo, can you drop this so we can listen to it like on a regular platform?" Mm-hmm. Type of shit. And then I ended up doing the shows. So it's like once I did the shows and I went up there mm-hmm. and I performed my shit. And I did it by myself type shit. Like I didn't invite nobody and shit like that because I wanted to see like. And people would tell me it was good. And I knew, like, I wasn't going to a studio to make the shit. I'm like, all right, now nah, I could do whatever I want to do. What do you mean you you did a show and didn't invite anybody? I did a whole so, show and so I didn't invite nobody. like, a show that was already happening? And I like, paid to do a show. I paid to do a show. So you paid for a performance I slot. paid for a performance lot, yeah. Uh-huh. And then I did the show. 
And after I did that one, then I was fiending to get more. So then. So it was random people. Um. That were watching. You. Yeah. And they gave you good feedback. Yeah. Um. Matter of fact, you know Bobby, right? He just. I think he just did a podcast with you. The tall guy, right? No, Bobby. Um. What does he go by? Bobby uh, Hill. He came in with the. He had the shades on. Dark skin. He from Seattle too. Well, I don't know if he jacked he was from Seattle, but he's from Seattle. Honcho. Honcho. Okay. Yeah, so he, I know him by Bobby, okay. but um, what should we call it? He was there, so when, like he was always he like since mu- music, in school, I think. Matter of fact, no, nah, I'm I'm confusing with somebody else. But he was always rapping in school, like when we be after school and stuff like that. He was always freestyling, so he always right. been, like from what I know him of, is making music. So when I saw him there, it was kind of like also to a common feeling. So, you know what I mean? He was there. He heard my music, too. He didn't even know I made music, and that was my that was my man's. So he didn't even know, really, during that time that I was making music. But when we saw each other there, it was kind of like, all right. You know what I mean? Because he's from CI, I'm from CI, so it was like, all right, we're here. Type shit. So that at that moment, that's when, like, it really was like, I'm finna throw everything into play. Mm-hmm. For me, at least. Because it's kind of like, all right, I already got people listening to my music. I know how, like, I... Now I know how to get shows and get paid to do shows. You don't need to. You don't need to really have like a good following or anything. But I know, like I have like a like I have the key now. But before before I had the key, it was more so just talking, like talking to people. Like that's how I got the next shows that I was doing mm-hmm. in Texas, just talking to people. So there was people there from Texas at that event. Uh, South by Southwest is like an artist filled um, festival. So they have shows every day, mm-hmm. podcasts every day. You know those freestyles that people be doing, like the one you do? Yeah, the mic video. Yeah. yeah. The they had those right on the street, on the block, all of them, all the big, they was all there. Everybody was there. It was kind of like the place you go if you're an artist, for sure. Okay, so so like we was in the mix. Area. Yeah, we was in the mix. So I went out there with my cousin and um, his man's, my man's uh, No Limit Zay Bang and my cousin's K. Uh, they know him as Life Be Crazy podcast, so shout out them. He's out here on Long Island. Uh, no, they're not. They're not in. Um, my cousin is from New York, but they're not in New York right now. Okay. Like, okay. Sure. Yeah, because I'm definitely trying to get on other podcasts too. Now we, we can do that. Yeah, that. yeah, we got to get on my shit because yeah. I want to switch. Like you know, I'm used to it's being different. on the other side. It's so different now. Like on this side, it's so different over here, bro. I agree. I agree, bro. Because you go from fucking sitting there asking all the questions to yeah. answering all the questions. And now it's like you on a hot seat. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should be trippy though. So why did you start up your podcast? It was because I know you did it during yeah. COVID and stuff like that. I wanted to um. My podcast is called Not Even Gonna Lie Though, and that's something I say a lot, like, not gonna lie. Like, you said I always... you wanted to talk about positive stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So, like, you know, I wanted a podcast where people can come on there and be honest. So I started off just making it, because at first, I wanted it to be me, a couple of my friends. Right. I'm like, yo, bro, we do this anyways. Just trust the process. I'm going to do all the work. All you got to do is show up. You see what I'm saying? But I also, too, at the beginning, when I first started, I wanted everybody to help me set it up. Mm. That's why I fucked up. So it was taking longer and longer. I was supposed to start a podcast. We're good. Go ahead. You got it. We're I was supposed to. Start to a I was supposed to start a podcast back in um, 2019. Right. When COVID first started, when I saw a million dollars worth the game, I was like, no. Mm-hmm. I called my friend the same day I saw the first video. I was like, yo, bro, we could do this, bro. All we gotta do is need a spot and a couple of cameras, bro. We're gonna make mad money because we do this anyways. We mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying like we was talking before, like, which one call it. We talk all the time, and people just want to see that relatable person, and they get attached. So we just have to put out enough videos and get front enough faces, and we could just go from there. Mm-hmm. And we could, you know what I mean? It doesn't take nothing. We're just sitting there chilling, siphoning, going out, stuff like that anyways. We might as well just, you know what I mean? Add the, add the thing so everybody else can see it now. Exactly, bro. Yeah, bro. Content's fucking huge. It don't matter. Like, if you're trying to do anything where you need to be known, you know, where you got to be a known figure, a public figure, or whatever, content is key, man. Like, all the stuff that they don't see, like, so you said you got your own setup. So you be making your own music still in your in your house, like you're you're recording everything. Imagine yeah. they could see that. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, let's say you went to the studio, you know, and you did your thing there. Imagine they could see that. Or, yeah. You know, seeing this, you know. Saying. So. 
thousand percent. You know, there's all there's it's just a, a, so many different aspects. You put all the stuff together, bro. Thousand percent, and it works great. So, do you believe in aliens? <laughs> Before you wrap it up, we, we was, was talking about that again off the pod, freaking. I, I, I guess so, right? Because like, what? Are we really the only thing in the galaxy, like, you know, like I don't know. Do you think? But now, do you think aliens are here already, or you think they're still up in what? space? What? There's aliens everywhere. I think now it's just like the way that we've been living naturally. I can see. Other um other beings seeing us as being a weakness, because mm-hmm. if you look at the separation between everybody, all races, all religions, and stuff like that, there's so much separation. It's easy for people to slip in between there. Just like when um if you talk people that talk about their friends, mm-hmm. it's easy for some for and somebody to see that who doesn't like fuck with one of y'all and just see that as a a loophole to in the mix. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of times you're supposed to. If you have a problem with somebody, you talk about it evenly and you you just move on. You see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I just feel like human, um, the human race in general, you see what I'm saying? Just look at what, fo- what we're focused on. You see what I'm saying? How would we know if there's somebody that just dropped down? Or like, you seen the movie, um, real quick. Did you see the movie Nope? I don't think so. Fuck. All right, so um, us, yeah. you know um, the movie... It was, oh, fuck, what the fuck was that movie called? Us? You seen the movie Us? With the scissor, with the people that were dressed in the red, but they also had the same, they were chasing the same people. I don't think so. Fuck. Um, I know you've seen Get Out. <laughs> three for you, three. No, no, no. You, Get Out with the, um, with the lady, she was turned, uh, the cup, and then he was, he fell into his thing, and then he had to. Fuck, you didn't see that movie? Like, I'm thinking, yo, no, bro, three for no three. way. Nah, all right. That's crazy. So, all right, so that that's the makers of the, the movies. So they make movies that are, like, deeper meaning movies, mm-hmm. essentially. Like, they have, like, it's one thing, but it really means seven or 12 other things just about society. So they made, we, uh, made a movie called Nope, and it was about basically a cloud that was eating people, consuming people from the thing. Right. And they were blending in with the clouds. And then what happened in real life with the clouds that kept popping up, the United States sh- shot down a couple UFOs on the United States territory, stuff like You didn't hear about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. So these are all real, you know what I'm saying? That's expects a UFO to out. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like I don't really like to listen to the, to the news much because fucking... Not me either. There's so much stuff in there that we don't even know what's what anymore. I mean, I'm not going to lie, like... uh. I didn't even like recently when we had the um the air outside the the Bruh. Yeah. like bro I'm not gonna lie I didn't know about that till it was outside like I don't even watch the news either I don't really be on social I media I didn't know either. about that either till I I seen it bro. bro I'm at work bro <laughs> that shit is wild bro it was literally apocalypse outside like yeah. like Fallout you ever play the video games yeah. where it's like literally the air is yellow bro yeah. like that's literally what it was like yeah bro. Now, talk about conspiracies. If you want to talk about conspiracies, the fucking... What about all the, that cargo ship? I mean, not cargo ship. The uh, the train that went missing full of uh, ammonium nitrate. They found, like, like a, it's like 30 tons worth or something like that that went mm-hmm. missing. And what and also, too, what about that leak that happened um, in the Midwest? When the thing, when... I don't know if it was a train or something tipped over. It was a truck. It tipped over. And um, which one called? You didn't hear about that? And I Pennsylvania, heard it was in Pennsylvania. That, but like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I and, don't know. No, no, matter of fact, not that. It wasn't in Pennsylvania. The oil leak. You know what the oil leak I'm talking about? The oil leak. It was like into the I mean, into the ocean. Yeah, that shit I think was it was mad old though. The BP oil spill. I think that's what I'm talking about. I'm not sure. I, it was recent though. It was probably like last year, oh, no, maybe last year this year. That. But either way. With the Canada thing, as far as, you know what I mean, with the wildfires and stuff like that, it's just a lot of stuff going on, bro. It's a lot of stuff going on. So do you talk about that stuff in your music? Um, My first song, UFO, mm-hmm. I'm putting out an um, animated video for that, mm-hmm. which I'm going to call it. And you can see where the words, what I'm saying, what it means and stuff like that. I don't really, but it's, it has to do a lot with corruption. Mm-hmm. So like um, that one's that, but 
Other than that, not too much. You know what I mean? I feel like what's what's known is known. What's unknown is unknown. So I can't really like like a lot of my music is more like factual or like th- things I do know for to be a fact. Like the corruption in government. There's corruption in everything. So there's no way you're telling me that the government with the most power is not corrupt. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? If I if you have ten it's like when you have children, a lot of people lie to their kids. Mm-hmm. It's not because they don't, you know what I mean? It's just it's just part of kind of with having power, I feel like. I can tell you kind of what I want to tell you when I want you to know it because I have power. I guess. I mean, that would be, I feel like, more of, like, influence, you know? Like, I know, nah, you're right, power, because you're taking care of them, so it's like well, they really don't have anything without you. Yeah. You know? Also, um, when I was in um, college, my professor, my sociology professor, he made me read a book called McDonaldization, basically about McDonald's. Yeah. And they say in the book, like, if um, who he who controls the food, can uh, um, controls the people, and that's facts. So, right? Yeah. That's one hundred percent facts. <laughs> How you gonna eat unless you hunt? Also, too, if I put something in your food that makes you always think that I'm inferior of you, how would you know? You see what I'm saying? Like, there's so many like angles of just that that one phrase in that book kind of like explains I feel like how would you general. know yeah no nah, well there's a lot of things how would we know like from that that shit that was in the air that could have been I don't even know like you know what I mean we don't even know what that could have been that shit, shit definitely fucked us up bro cause I smoke and fucking I definitely felt way more of the effects of smoking than I usually do you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. Didn't you just get more, like, smacked, you know? like <laughs> no, nah. That, nah. Which of a quote, I'm not going to lie. That day, I did not smoke. That was probably the most, like, once I, I'm not going to lie, that shit scared the shit out of me. Because, mind you, like, remember I caught the COVID, I almost died, whatever. But it scared me to, like, I wasn't, because I feel like now where I'm at, I'm not really scared of death. So it's more like it put me in mad, like, survival mode. Like, I, I dead caught, because I had a, to work a double. I called him. I said, "I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but I'm not. I'm not coming in. Like, <laughs> there's no way I'm coming, breathing outside, and I'm going home. So I went home, but I was feeling the effects too, and I had on a mask. Yeah, I bet. I had a mask. Fucking some wild stuff. I wonder if this podcast will come out before we, you know, before anything more wild happens, bro. <laughs> nah, definitely some more wild shit is gonna come out. I feel like just off, just the strength of how the summer feels." You know what I mean? It's that as June, bro. Like, yeah, it's it don't feel like it's summer, bro. Yeah. I, the I seasons are slowly changing themselves. Yeah. Right? It's a lot of... I mean, New York has weird weather, but I feel like our weather this year has really been like... I feel like this whole year... That's another reason why I made the tape. I feel like this whole year has just been UFO-ish. Like, you know what I mean? Just We don't know what's happening next. Mm-hmm. We don't know what's really going on. Like, why are we in war right now? Right. If you think about it. Now, is there anything that you want to talk about that we haven't spoken about yet? Um, <laughs> I gotta think. <laughs> so I gotta think. Nah, I think I think we pretty much covered everything except for like you know what I mean. Why did you start? I wanted to ask you. Why did you start this business? Why did I start this business? It all played back into the feeling. So th- that's the number one thing I tell anybody. When you're going to do something, like, the feeling first. Like, how do you feel during doing the action of whatever it is, right? So, like, you got to pay attention to that. Like, do you feel good? Like, do you feel happy? Does it make you excited? Does it make you sad? Does it, is it something that you could do over and over and over and over and it's still fun? Or is it something that's like, ah... Uh, not feeling it this week, you know what I'm saying? Because if you're yeah. gonna own a business, you gotta be able to hit that shit every single day. That's a fact. You know, that's so, a fact. Cause that's where all your time, money, and your blood, sweat, and tears are going into. Everything went into this, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it had to be something that I really enjoyed. You know, a lot of people aren't lucky enough to find it. Some people do, but the the easiest way that helped me was literally pay attention to everything you do it could be it could be small stuff if it, if it literally makes you feel better to boost somebody else's spirit then maybe you should be a personal you know what i'm saying like like a like some type of psychologist or like 
a fucking motivational speaker or something like that. You know, if it makes you feel good to, to I don't know, like, make somebody a plate of food that they're like, wow, bro, this tastes so good, you know? Like, if that really makes you feel good, go be a chef, you know what I'm saying? Like, thousand percent. What makes you feel good, like, you know? That also goes into my song, too. I'm glad you said that, though. That just made me look at something different. That was some facts you just said. Think about it, bro. That's some facts you, know? you just said. Okay. So one major thing that helped, like, I like doing stuff for other people. I can't lie. It gets annoying sometimes when people try to bend it in a way that you didn't intend it to be at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But besides that, I do like helping people and them be like, yo, bro, like, I fuck with this. Like, because I've had people come here, bro, and tell us, like, 10, 15 years rapping, like, bro, this is the best studio I've ever been to. And I'm like, really? Like, ever? You know what I'm saying? You've been doing this for 10, I gotta 15 come, I gotta, years? I got I to I gotta check out the studio. You Ain't know, no but like, that's the type of stuff that I live for. Like, he told me that, like, I heard that last month, and I'm like, I, that's fresh in my head, bro. You know, like I, like, I love that type of shit. Like, somebody literally told me this morning, like, I, I made them a music video just because, like, I wanted to mess around with making, like, a music video, you know? And I put the thing together, and they're like, bro, like, you're the GOAT. Like, I love you, like, for real. Like, this is fucking amazing. Oh, I, you know I, I think saying? i seen that with the, um... Nah, that was just a little snippet for, for Instagram. I made, like, a full, like, oh, three-minute music video. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Shit, it's fire. It took, like, I seen hours. the one with the, um... What was his name? Damn. Uh, Brylone. He has... The Dreads? No, he was he was Spanish. The guy I saw, he was Spanish. He was a rapper. Spanish rapper. Spanish rapper. Oh, we talking about and Lil Jeff. Yeah, you did like a little. Can I don't know. If you sh- oh, that yeah, that wasn't really a like. Mm-hmm. That not just, that. Nah, that was a one like one minute quick little video. Well, not even that was a one take. Like you know, like a music video is like a whole bunch of pieces put together. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so not that one. You're not talking yeah, about that nah, one. Definitely. That was not. just me literally pressing record and moving around. You know, like. Mm-hmm. But this one you actually did, and did you like being by, like behind the camera doing it? I did everything. I did like I recorded the footage months ago. Like we recorded stuff months ago. It wasn't even intended to be a music video, but it's like fine. I was just listening back to the song and I'm like, this goes crazy. Like I need to make this. But uh we uh we're coming up to the end, so if there's any shout outs you wanna give, let's do that. Um I think I shouted a lot of people out, but just basically I wanna shout out my tape, UFO. Just give it a listen. And then, you know what I mean? Like, comment, share, all that. Stuff like that. But Kev Familla on all platforms. Like I said, Long Island, Central Island. We in the building, man. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned, man. If you ain't booking, you looking, baby. Thank you for coming out, my boy. Wait, I, oh, I wanted to ask you one thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who's, your, um, who's your favorite artist? Who's my favorite artist? I would say Jay-Z. Jay-Z? Jay-Z. Well, who's your favorite um, up-and-coming artist? Shout out to bro. Favorite up and coming artist, shit. Shout out to bro. I, there's two that I would pick. There's two. I can't. I can't give just one. Um, Prada Dot and and uh, Bankroll Shorty. Copy, copy, copy. They from Long Island. J one hundred grand. You know him. Nah, I know. I know. I'm yeah. Saying. Um. Yeah. Prada's out here too. I think Bayshore or something like that. Oh, copy, copy, copy. Long Island, Suffolk. We in the building, man. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Long Island, everything, baby. Facts. New York. Yes, sir. If you ain't booking, you looking. <laughs>